Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I've got some new colors to show you. Um, we have a new catalog coming out May 2nd, uh, the Stampin' Up! annual catalog, and we've got a color refresh, which means we've got lots of new colors. I am using the Seaside Bay bundle. This is in the spring catalog, and it's carrying over into our new annual catalog. And I really wanted to showcase some of our new blues. We've got some gorgeous new colors, two of which um, I really love, Boho Blue, is the first one you can see that right here and then misty moonlight which is a color that was an in color years ago and they've brought it back and put it in our neutrals color family so now it's a core color and i've paired both of them with our good old trusty knight of navy and they just go so well together i thought that they were a a nice kind of water look uh, when you put them all together and so i have created just a strip background for our cute little birds here all right, well, this card is not difficult and it's fun to make. I really enjoy um, using strips of color. I've done it many, many times um, with rainbow colors, with different shades, different um, color families. And it's a really fun background um, if you're, you know, kind of stuck for ideas, put some colors together and make a strip background. Now I have a piece of Knight of Navy that is four by five and a fourth and I'm just gonna generously add some adhesive to it like that you can use liquid glue if you want um, but I'm gonna start with misty moonlight and I'm just gonna go in order misty moonlight and then boho blue and even you can see that I've cut my strips longer than they need to be because I I always give myself a little wiggle room in case if I start to cut strips and then I go to put them on and they're too short, there's nothing you can do about it. They're just too short. But if you have long strips, that gives you that that um, opportunity, you know, to cut them all off so that they will be perfectly even. So that's why I made mine a little bit longer. And I'm really trying to bump them up next to each other and staying in that, that straight pattern. Um, you can use your grid paper to help you stay straight. But I found if you just get that first one straight, all the other ones will follow. I feel like I've gone out of order. Have I gone out of order? I have, haven't I? Oh, well. <laughs> That's what happens when I'm talking. All right, so Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, and we'll finish with one more Boho Blue. All right now you can't even see that rectangle that we started with. Let me grab my paper trimmer and we're gonna straighten it all out. All right, so I'm gonna line my navy piece here and just cut it off so that it's all straight. And it looks like maybe I didn't get close enough. Let's go in a little bit closer, just a little bit closer. And we'll cut all of those off, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna turn it and cut this one off. And last but not least, we've got this one. Now you'll notice that that last strip that I put on, we didn't have enough room for it to be the full um, half inch. So we just sliced it off and that's okay. Uh, really, you won't be able to tell much when you put all the fun stuff on your card. All right, oops, I put my trimmer back. We're gonna need that again. I have a piece of basic white, if I can get it picked up, that is two. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Two by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna cut it at an angle just to about halfway, all right? Like that. There's no real specific measurement there, just kind of, you know, to about the halfway point. All right, we're gonna use our crumb cake. And we're gonna add some sand to this piece. Let me grab my grid paper, whoops, Let's pour it in half. We're gonna add these little sand speckles here with some crumb cake ink. And each time I stamp it, I'm gonna stamp again before I re-ink. That's gonna give us some lighter colors and darker colors in the sand. And I'm switching my, my um, stamp around just so that it's not, you know, uniform. We want it kind of all to be varying directions, varying shades of ink. Okay, there we go. 
Now, how about our cute little birds? Let's stamp them. I chose basic gray for them. And we're gonna stamp the mama. We'll stamp her up here. And we'll stamp the babies and they're all connected. And we're only gonna use two on the front. I think we'll stick one of them on the inside too. All right, now the last thing we need to do, and I may not have saved myself enough space on this basic white, but I've got a drawer full of scraps right here. I have a drawer full of white scraps because that, uh, by far that's the, the color I use the very most. All right, now this stamp actually, this sentiment is from another new stamp called Timeless Arrangements. A really great stamp, really some interesting dies here, but I'm just gonna use this little rectangle right here. And it says, hope your day is filled with everything good. And that is our boho blue. All right, let's close up our ink pads. Don't leave your ink pads open because inevitably you will drop your card down onto your open ink pad and then you have to start all over. Nobody wants to do that. Okay, now my dies are right here. I always do that. I bury them and then I'm like, where did I put those? All right, I'm using my little mini cut and emboss machine. And this machine happens to be boho blue, which is the color of one of the card stocks we're using. Um, it was um, a special during celebration, but you can still get this machine in white. Now this, you know what? We're gonna do something. I'm gonna show you a little trick. This die, is a little bit tricky to line up because you've got all these little pieces and really you've got to line up those beaks there in the white and it's kind of tricky. So let me just show you a new trick that I just discovered. Let me grab another piece of scrap paper real quick. If I can find one big enough, here we go. All right, if you've got a die that you're really having a hard time getting lined up perfectly, cut out that die just from a scrap piece of paper, okay? And this is gonna create a, like a template for you. And then you can line those babies up really easily. You can see exactly where those holes are. All right, like that. And then if you can do it without knocking it, like I just did, then take your, then take your die, you know what? All right, here we go. Then take your die and lay it down into those holes. Come on, Erica, get it together. We need a little bit of tape, don't we? All right, now take your die and just lay it down right there in those holes. And now you know it's exactly where it needs to be. Because sometimes when you have kind of an awkward stamp where there's a lot of solid and you can't see exactly where you're laying it, it's hard to get them lined up exactly where you want it. And then there we go. They're all perfect. Look at that. All right, so there, that's a little trick for you. Now let's do the mama bird. And we'll line her up. She's easy to line up. We don't need to do that little trick there with her. And last but not least, we will cut out our sentiment using this rectangle. And I'm gonna put it down towards the bottom because I am gonna cut it off up here. All right, there we go. All right, I think we're ready to put this together. Let me get my dies picked up so we don't lose them. Now we're gonna add, we're gonna use a lot of dimensionals. If you know me, you know I use a lot of dimensionals. Um, I think that they add so much to your card dimension wise and I love it. So I use them a lot. Now I'm gonna add our little sand piece right there. And then we'll take Mama, and if I can get her picked up, put her about right there. And then we'll get the little babies. And I think, yeah, I think we're gonna have to use many dimensionals for them. We'll put one right there. 
and we'll put the other one. Let's see, I think I like this one better. This one up here like that. Now we're gonna take this and I'm going to get my dimensionals again. And let's just put them low like that. And we're gonna line that up. You can line it up with those the side of that. Go down a little bit lower than you think so that you can put your bow there. And scissors have escaped me. Oh, here they are. Turn that off like that. And then you need just some linen thread. And we're just gonna tie a small bow And we'll use a little mini glue dot to put that on. There. All right, now we're gonna put this whole thing on a Knight of Navy card base. Again, dimensionals. Now I have a piece for the inside and I thought on my original card I didn't do this, but I thought let's fancy up the inside a little bit. We've got that little bird left. So I'm gonna just take, let's see, I think I'm gonna take my sand, let's do it like this. And just do a little bit like that. And then we'll take our remaining baby bird, maybe it got lost from its mama. You know, there's always one who's not paying attention We'll put that on the inside. And there you have it. All right, now I have two other cards featuring the same stamp set over my blog today. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over there. There's a free PDF and those two additional projects using these same beautiful colors. All right, everybody, have fun stamping. Thanks, bye-bye.